Hi everyone. Now we will talk about interpolation in Angular, which is very important feature. And whenever you will work on any Angular project, you definitely work with the interpolation. Without interpolation, you cannot complete any project of Angular. This is so much important. And that's, that's why uh, interpolation can be asked in interviews also. So watch this video carefully. First of all, we'll discuss what is interpolation. Then we'll see some examples. After that, we'll check out its limitation. And at last, we'll discuss some important interview questions related, related to angular interpolation so before starting with our first question what is interpolation let me open two files and these files are present inside the src inside the app component which is app.component.html and another one is app.component.ts see whenever you will work on any angular project you definitely have to display some data on your ui from app.component.ts or any component.ts file so what you need to do for that for that the variable should be uh, used inside the app.component.html so for example you want to display this name uh, on the ui then what you need to do you have to use their double curly braces like this and then name and then you will see this is printed there so these double curly braces are basically the interpolation and if you just want to know the definition then you can say that interpolation is basically used inside the component.html file to display the dynamic data dynamic data means data whatever we have in the ts file and we want to display on the ui that we have to uh, you can say that print in the html file with the help of interpolation for example we have some other uh, data for say data is let's say 100 right and another one we have the one more variable uh, let's say data 2 and again its value is also let's say 200 and let me make it a numeric value like this right and we want to display the addition on the screen then what we need to do you have to go inside this app.component.html file there you can use any tag or directly you can use interpolation and inside this put their data 1 what are the variables name data and data 2 right data plus data 2 and you will see the output there 300 right so when you want to display the dynamic data from ts file to the screen that time we have to use interpolation in our html file and there is a one more use which is uh, let me show you the screen over there right and second one when you want to execute some js code in the html file that time you have to use the interpolation right and another one is when you want to display data from ts to html file then also we can use the interpolation and now if you just think about second point like how we can run js code in html file so let me show you so if you have let's say one h1 tag and you want to add two numbers 10 plus 10 20 plus 10 so if you just will check the output you will see that the same thing is just printed there but what actually happened if you will do them same thing in the uh, javascript 20 plus 10 20 plus 10 this, that is 13 and if you just simply use their double curly braces like this you'll get the same result there right 30 and there is a one more thing so let's say you have a variable and its name is let's say data or not data actually uh, temp right and its value is let's say hello right and you want to just make it in uppercase what you will use there, use there temp dot uh, to uppercase right to uppercase like this and you will see that you get that hello in the capitalized values right and same thing so let's say you have the h1 h2 tag and if you just have hello and you want to display in the uppercase then what you need to do there use the double, double curly braces or you can see that interpolation then hello and it should be in the string keep in mind uh, yeah like this and then simply use dot to upper case and you will get the same okay let me see yeah there we have to use we have to close this single quotes and here you can see that we got that hello in the capital letters right so that's thing that we can do inside the interpolation like uh, we can uh, execute the js code the another example is let's say we have h3 tag 
and you want to compare two uh, values let's say 10 equal to 10 so we know that these are equal and you'll see there the value is true and similarly if you have two values data and data to there right and what you want to do there you have another h1 tag interpolation and if you want to compare data equal equal to data 2 so they are not equal we know that right one value is 100 another is 200 then you will get their false and if the both values equal then you will see this is true all right so similarly so let's say if you have the name let's say you have user 1 and its name is anil and another you have the user 2 and its values let's say peter right what do you want to do first you want to capitalize this one then it's very simple just go with the h1 and we know that uh, user 1 is a variable not the string so if that is a string then you have to use like this but we know that this is a property or variable there so then simply use their dot to uppercase and you will see now anil is in the capital case and again if you want to compare them choose double curly braces user 1 equal equal to user 2 and that is false because first one is anil and second one is peter so if i just make them both anil then you will see it's true so that's why we can say that we can execute their uh, js code we can pass the dynamic data and display or either you can say that uh, we can display data from ts screen to the html uh, so that we can uh, you can user user can display the data on the ui so now the what are the limitations there uh, and this is a syntax we know that right uh, this is very simple so limitations are uh, you cannot assign a value there so let's say you want to create uh, or you have already a variable with the name of data right and you want to assign some value to it let's say data and you want to assign it let's say 3000 then you will see uh, yeah there you'll getting an error so this is not possible second thing uh, let me comment it out second thing if you want to let's say create new data there uh, new data variable or property let's say data 3 again you will get an error third thing if you want to just perform any incremental operator uh, let's say data 2 which is there 100 and if i just put there plus plus increment and agreement you will get again the error and there are some other things uh, for example you cannot use loops directly there right for loop and all so if you want to use their loop then you have to use ng4 ng repeat so these are some limitations which cannot be done directly inside the uh, interpolation so thank you so much for watching this part is if you have any doubt confusion you can ask me in the comment section and there is a playlist for the angular 19 tutorials the link is given in the description box you can check out this is my paytm and google pay donation number thanks guys